Hi guys, hello and welcome to Command & Conquer Remastered Part 5. Attention, stand by for Tiberium Dangers update. Mm. Tiberium Dangers update, oh dear. Tiberium is named after the Tiber River in Italy where it was first discovered. There are now more than 200 areas of the Earth affected by Tiberium deposits. Tiberium appears to be spreading by means of conveyance unknown. Well, I just saw a meteorite, but hey, you know. Dr. Mobius, tell our viewers just what Tiberium really is. Molecularly, it's a non-carbon-based element that appears to have strong ferrous qualities with non-resonating reversible energy that has a tendency to disrupt carbon-based molecular structures with inconsequent and in, in, uh, unequal positrons orbiting on the first, second, and ninth quark rings. Whoa. Oh, mate, 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 mate. Good or bad? You give me a headache. Well, let me put it this you way. could give an aspirin a headache, pal. The possibilities of Tiberium are limited. Yeah, you're a fruitcake. Mm -hmm. You're definitely loco, mate. Well, we now know that not only does Tiberium leach elements from the soil, but it appears to also leach vital nutrients from all plant life. Human contact with Tiberium is extremely toxic and often fatal. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's funny as hell to watch the troops dying in it, though. Commander, you've been hustled. Mm -hmm. The UN wasn't against me. Not all of them, at least. But we had to play that little game to lull Kane into a false sense of security. I've unlocked some new UN funding. It should help take care of this madman for good. Excellent. Uh, at least Morelli, Morelli's got, got a mask on today. We don't have to uh, see her moustache. You've read the classified briefings about Orca, and here she is. I need you and Morelli to take a couple of these babies up and put them through the mill. Nice. Get our hands on the Orca. Of Fantastic. 50 miles around Trieste, Sylvania, and see what you can scout up. I love the Orca. They're one of the best things in the game, to be fair. Although, to be honest, I think the game developers could have done a better job with some of these uh, little movies, you know? It's great how they remastered all the, uh, all the all the videos with Shepard and some of the other people talking to you before the mission and stuff, but these little before and after game ones should have been worked on a bit as well. Oh well, can't have everything I guess. Yes sir. Right then, here we go, about to get our base set up. I am um, also as well, for the purposes of this, uh, this video, I have speeded the game up in places because it did take me around an hour and a half to complete initially, yes, so obviously I don't want to put you guys for all that length of time, so yes. I have to speed it up and that will kick in rather shortly. Yes, sir. New construction yes, sir. options. No. Building. Yes, sir. Okay, and there we go guys, there's the uh, quick time kicking in now, because as I said, uh, it did take basically over an hour for me to complete the level. Uh, clearly that's too long for you guys to sit through. Um, but yeah, I started off early, we get my orca up there. Um, I've forgotten from when I used to play it years ago, how many orcas you sort of needed really to kind of keep it on top of things. Um, I do recall, I think it was from like two or three was the ideal. Um, so I will build a few more orcas uh, shortly. But I'm also thinking about this as well. If I keep hammering that uh, gun position, you know, the enemy's basically spending money, i.e. resources, to keep repairing it. So at least that's kind of draining their resources a little bit as well. Uh, maybe not too much, but, you know, I'm looking at it, that's maybe doing something in my favour. Also, I learned on this level uh, quite quickly, it's definitely worth getting a repair bay up and going quickly as well. Uh, yeah, they keep sending there some little troops to me occasionally. Keep taking them out. Uh, cheeky sod sending their artillery to try and knock out Mallorca, but that didn't work. Yeah, it's definitely at a stage of the uh, the game now, where in all the levels, where having a repair bay is kind of necessary, really, um, because it. 
does does spare you a lot of time in uh, trying to rebuild vehicles and stuff. Still just popping away at that gun emplacement. Um, I do get a couple more um, orcas up there when I can, though, so... Uh, Also, I've noticed on this level, the, uh, the game logic seems to repair the uh, gun emplacements to around about 50% most of the time and no more than that, so that's quite good. So I thought I'd scout out over here as well, get some more Tiberium on the go. The enemy loves those flame, flame troops, eh? Well, to be honest with you, I love the flame troops too. Um, so on the GDI levels, when I can, I basically try and nick, uh, or try and get into... Uh, their construction yard, build myself a GDI, um, sorry, a nod, a hand of nod, and uh, build a couple of uh, flame troops myself. That's that's my game plan usually. I've also got a couple of orcas now, so at least that's uh, making my job a little bit easier. I love how the infantry were going after my harvester there, and uh, the Tiberium did the job for me. Yeah, definitely three or four orcas is, is, is better than two, to be honest. Uh, two isn't bad, but uh, yeah. So two can do the job, but definitely better off with three or four, given the opportunity. What I like about them as well is you can scout with them as well. I mean, it's only really their bazooka troops uh, that can attack attack them, uh, as, far as, as far as I can remember. Um, well, that and SAM sites, but at least a SAM site has to be a fixed, is a fixed emplacement. Uh, but enemy troops, yeah, I think it's only their rocket troops that can really uh, have an effect against them. Yeah, the enemy keep trying to repair their gun emplacement. Also, I've noticed uh, whenever you knock out a gun emplacement, if there's still an enemy soldier there, they uh, they send the enemy soldier to your base, which is easy for them to kill. There we go. There's my third um, helipad. So three orcas now. Yeah, the orcas are definitely one of my favourite uh, uh, vehicles in the game, to be honest. They're quite effective on mass. Oh, there's a little alien spaceship there, okay. Can't seem to do anything with that or destroy it or whatever, but there's something there. Oh, yeah, um, I decided to attack a little uh, civilian village. Uh, it is allied with the Nod forces anyway, but I just thought um, sometimes you get, like, uh, uh, cash stashed in the villages, so I thought I'd knock out a couple of their buildings, maybe so find some money, which would help. Although in the real world, though, uh, I'd still be guilty of all crimes by the Hague Convention for doing that regardless. So, uh, oh well, glad it's just a game. Uh, there's another uh, good emplacement there. Another round of orcas will knock that out. There we go, there's that one gone, just the one troop there. He's probably going to end up walking to my base anyway, so that's not a problem. There we go, there's another gun emplacement. I'm surprised on this level, to be honest, though, there isn't that many enemy troops coming towards me. Uh, normally, on most levels, you seem to get attacked more frequently with a lot uh, bigger forces, but, oh well, I'm not complaining. Mjorkas are doing a good job at the moment, uh, keeping the enemies at bay, knocking out the gun emplacements. And, of course, they're good for scouting at range as well, and uh, attacking your enemy like that artillery piece at distance. It's also very economical to keep uh, repairing your vehicles if you've got a repair bay as well. Definitely the way forward on that. Well, here we go, Mallorca is attacking a single tank on the go, there we go. Ah, there's the enemy base. But they've got an obelisk as well, which is quite dangerous. 
I bought a couple of some sites around them, so I can't really use milkers against that. Um, which means I have to go for one of the power stations or a couple of power stations, either knock them out or get engineers inside if I can avoid the obelisk. So it's quite a challenge, to be fair. Although I'm glad, though, as the game has gone on, the, the, the levels are getting more challenging and more difficult to get right. Although it is pretty much one sided in my favour at the moment, so you know, I can't really complain. I just spotted another gun emplacement which I've just flown over. I'll have to go back and get that. i take out the tank first. There we go. There's the gun. One more loadout with my Yorker should uh, take care of that. There we go, that one's gone. The base is rather small, but it looks quite formidable, to be honest. Okay, I'm just going to scout out of the way down the bottom part of the map here as well. Also just knocked out a gun emplacement. Send the orcas after the tank. Yeah, it is good having the orcas, as I say, you can uh, reach out and touch the enemy at long range. And unless they've got bazooka troops on the way or SAM sites, there's not really a lot we can do. Just clearing some of the map here, in case there's anything useful. Ooh, there's a harvester. If I can block the way there and knock out the harvester. The harvester appears to have stopped. It'd be good if I could trap all the enemy harvesters there and just kill them. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be awesome. I also built a little collection of GDI tanks up top as well, as you'll see. There we go. I'm thinking a bit of a tank push in a while from now. Just going to get them in the kind of assembly position, not too far away from the enemy base. Uh, okay, ah, uh, okay. I was hoping the tanks would. Uh, take up the house to, and be out of range of the obelisk uh, but not so the obelisk seems to have a longer range than I remember unless it's been updated and changed which could have been yep so there's all my tanks gone already <laughs> okay I thought a bit of a tank push from a reasonable range would be good but obviously not but yeah but milkers are definitely doing me a uh, good service here though uh, The trouble is I kind of sort the base with them because they will get wiped out by the Sams. So this takes a little, going to take a little bit of thinking on here. Got an engineer in the APC. Okay, that's all I could go for. But at least now I have a way into the base. Okay. Well, at least taking out that, uh, that building and selling it, that's given me a way to get another APC and engineer in there. It's opened up a hole for me. Which should hopefully be out of the way of the obelisk. Excellent. Now, if I send that into the base there. Okay, okay. There's their construction yard. That's what I want. Now, I'm going to go for a hand of nod. There we go. A couple of flame troops. See how they like getting burned alive. And yep, repair my APC instead of building a new one. And also try and get a few engineers on the go. Yeah, it's definitely quite a small base, but it's very well protected. So, yes, that's a bit of a tricky one to be sure. I'm just sending my tanks over to the village just to see if there's any uh, any money I can find in the village. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, for a change, uh, I'm trying to capture their power stations. Normally, I'd go after the uh, construction yard first, refinery, uh, silos, that sort of thing, because that's where the money is. But um, I need to take down the obelisk. In order to do that, the obelisk needs power. So I need to knock out enough power stations or take over as many power stations as I can. So they can't do that. 
Uh, got a no hand of nod in that base. <laughs> there we go. I love the flame troops. Yep, if you play as GDI, I certainly recommend whenever you can, get hold of their construction uh, centre yard, build a hand of nod and build some flame troops. They are quite quite decent and powerful. As well as quite funny, how to incinerate your enemy. Mm, got a pesky rocket soldier there, okay. Not too much I can do about that right now. I'm just wondering if I've done this, taken over enough power stations to eradicate the obelisk. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I thought they'd try to get a couple of artillery units on the go, but no, it didn't work. They're too weak, too easy to be killed, which is what happened. Now the obelisk is still up, okay. Only three power stations left though, so it won't be long before they are inoperable. I've got to hand it to the AI though. Uh, the game isn't making the level easy for me. I tried again with another artillery piece, but no, it's not powerful enough. Well, the gun is powerful enough, but the unit itself is too weak. Um, quite easy to destroy. The obelisk is down, which is good. Got another hand of nod up. Um, try and take over these troops. I uh, take out this their hand of nod. But doing a good number on my tanks, to be fair, with a couple of flame troops and a rocket soldier. Right, well, okay, so finally the hand of nod is gone. Oh, I forgot about the SAM site. <laughs> Nearly lost an orca there. But at least now I can take out the obelisk. Going to build some engineers inside their own base. Take over some of the remaining buildings. There we go. Obelisk is gone. Okay, so it is really now just a matter of time. It shouldn't be too much longer. Got to build some quite cheapish units and just uh, work on their SAM sites. Okay, there's one of the gun emplacements gone. There's the other one up there. Going to focus on the SAM first. Oh, okay. I, I thought I'd have got away with knocking out the, uh, the enemy... Uh, Gun emplacement before they took my hand of nod again. That's three I think I've lost. Oh well. Okay, well that's our base pretty much eradicated now. So it's just uh, some sites and maybe the odd straggler around somewhere. Okay, one some site left. I don't know why those soldiers are trying to walk around the outside. They're trying to go the long way around. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that was always frustrating in this game was the uh, was the pathfinding. That, that wasn't particularly good. Uh, and there's still a few instances in the game, even now, uh, where that can be a bit of a problem. So that's pretty much it. All forces gone, I think. In case, if there's, unless there's only one still remaining. Maybe a single soldier somewhere. Maybe, maybe there's something up there if I send my APC forward. And I do believe that is about it, so... Oh, there we go, mission accomplished. So that was that. Um, thank you very much indeed for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, please, please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the bell as well so you get notified when I do a new video. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.